know about you, but there's a bowl of candy. All right, two bowls of candy sitting out at my house right now because it's Halloween, of course. Well, there are healthier ways to do Halloween and our next guest, nutritionist, mom of three, Karina Heinrich, is here now to share some recipes and fun ideas. Happy Halloween, Karina, how are you? Happy Halloween, great, how are you? Okay, so first question, we're good. I might, ha might be sugar crashing soon because there is already candy <laughs> in my house because I, well, I'm pregnant, so I blame that, but I would have it whether or not I'm pregnant or not. But every parent yeah. out there wants to know, how do we get veggies into our kids around <laughs> Halloween? I know, this is tricky, right? But you wanna get your kids into the kitchen and if they're old enough, you wanna help them put together a veggie skeleton tray. I know this sounds kind of spooky, but they're going to choose the veggies, they're gonna shape them up and they're gonna put it together. You wanna serve it with like a really healthy ranch dressing or Karina Method guacamole or ranch um, or hummus. I love that. And you want them picking out their own veggies. And if they don't like veggies, then put fruit on there. But once they can put it together, they're more likely to eat it. My, you can also do fun perfect. things like slimy um, grapes, boo nanas, spiders on a log. So be creative. Just get them in the kitchen with you. Gotcha. My, I, my toddler wouldn't eat his raspberries last night until I stuck them on his fingers. <laughs> there and you go. You got to get creative, Look, especially yeah, you gotta this get Halloween involved. when. You, your kids might not be able to go trick-or-treating. Right, so trick-or-treating or trunk-or-treating, trunk whatever you're doing, however you're doing <laughs> this this year, how do we sit down for meal time instead of just ripping into that candy? I know, so we love make your own pizza night in our home. So you wanna decorate a pizza, make it into spider webbed pizzas. I have these pepperoni pieces, that pieces that I made into jack-o'-lanterns. So again, get creative. My kids love putting this together and they're more likely to eat it if they made it. You also can do um, whole grain uh, spaghetti brains. You can do mummy hot dogs. Again, whatever you name them, the kids are more likely to want to go after it. Look how cute these are. You can do uh, turkey hot dogs as well. Oh, that's so fun. Uh, so what about healthier desserts? Because I, I hear dessert and it's Halloween and I say, <laughs> all right, Snickers bar, you're mine. No, okay, I, these are hands down my absolute favorite. You use um, apples, almond butter, or whatever nut butter, even nut-free butter you want. We have vegan marshmallows. My kids love putting this together. This is high protein, high fiber, very sneaky. You can also make my Karina Method peanut butter bites, which is great for mom and dad as well. Shape them into Halloween shapes. Your kids will love them. These have little chocolate chips in them, so they think they're getting a dessert, yeah, but you're sneaking in, in those all kinds of goodness. What did you say? What's in those? So these even have hidden flaxseed, oatmeal, peanut butter. Again, you can use nut-free butter, cinnamon. You can put bee pollen. You can be so creative in these, but then they have the chocolate chips, and so my kids eat them all up. But right. they're amazing, especially for your sugar cravings being pregnant. These are like our go-to. That's perfect. All right, so what <laughs> age do we get these kiddos in the kitchen? I have one of those toddler towers. He's not even two, and he loves to help mama, help mama, help mama. That's all he says all day is help mama. As soon as they can stand up, get them in the kitchen, put them on a little stool, anything that they can get their hands dirty and hands on, it really encourages your kids to be part of it. And I promise you, they're more likely to eat it. If you said, you make this how you want it and use all these special ingredients and call them something really fun, I promise you, no matter what age they are, they're going to be more interested in the food you put in front of them. So Halloween can be healthy. Who knew? It can be healthy. Who knew? I know we're not passing out raisin boxes, I promise. I know it's scary to have a nutritionist as a mom, but <laughs> you you know, bring it into the kitchen and make it fun. Perfect. Well, for more information, head to KarinaMethod.com or follow Karina on Instagram at the Karina Method. Happy Halloween. Thanks for joining us this morning, Karina. We appreciate it. Thanks so much. All right. Thank you.